Meanwhile, several former employees of a tri-state millionaire testified against him today. Doug Evans is accused of using a front company to win minority and small business contracts worth millions of dollars. Nine on your side investigative reporter Paula Christian tells us when prosecutors could wrap up their case. I'm here outside the federal courthouse where the prosecution is on the verge of resting its case against Doug Evans after three weeks. Today, jurors heard from a longtime advisor to Doug Evans, who described him as both abrasive and authoritarian. That advisor, Tony Schweier of Cincinnati accounting firm Clark Schaefer Hackett, is a key witness. Evans' defense team says the idea to create a separate minority business, in fact, came from Schweier. On the witness stand, Schweier repeatedly denied this. My concern was this was not a legitimate MBE and it would end badly one way or another. Prosecutors accuse Evans of creating a front company, Ergon, to win minority and small business demolition jobs from the city of Cincinnati and the state worth millions of dollars. The FBI raided Evans landscaping in 2015. Afterward, Evans employees worried about hiring attorneys. That testimony came from former Evans manager Mike Moeller. He quit after the raid. I didn't want to stay at a place where another employee is telling me to protect myself. Moeller pleaded guilty to wire fraud. In all, four former Evans employees signed plea deals in exchange for their testimony. The last of those employees, John Dietrich, will be the prosecution's last witness. Then next week, it's the defense team's turn in court. Paula Christian, 9 on your side.